Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Are bug guts ruining the look of your ride? Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove them quickly and easily. All right guys, so you just got back from a road trip or maybe you just had a bunch of bugs accumulate on your front end and never decided to clean them. Well, today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily do that using our bug and tar remover and just a few other products in the mix. So right here we have our bug and tar remover, which is a dedicated cleaner for bugs on your vehicle. So it's safe to use on paint, glass, metal, chrome. So it's safe to use on virtually all of your exterior surfaces. Along with it, I have a secondary spray bottle, which I am going to be diluting this cleaner into there. So that's the great thing about it, is that you can use it as like a shampoo in a bucket and just clean your front end. And you can also have it in a sprayable solution to kind of help saturate it, break down those bugs and have an easier time cleaning. And then I'm also gonna have one of our wash mitts right here. Now on this side, you'll see it's just one of our regular chenille microfiber wash mitts. However, on the opposite side, you have this cool strap right here, along with this mesh material that's gonna do an incredible job at removing these bugs without you having to do any kind of heavy agitation. So this is gonna be one of the things that you're gonna need as far as like removing these bugs because you want to have something that's gonna help you remove them, but not something that's gonna scratch the surface. So the cool thing about this wash mitt is that you can actually flip this strap to the opposite side just like that and you can grab it and you can use either side so on this way you can go ahead and put the strap on this side and use the mesh side or you can actually flip it around and just use it as a traditional wash mitt to wash your vehicle with so enough with the products that we're using let's get into the cleaning so you guys will see on this front end this honda just came back from a 700 800 mile road trip as you guys can see there's a ton of little bugs on the front end and it's not that it looks ugly, but there's also another reason why we're cleaning it today. And that's for the reason of, this is a brand new car. Bugs have acids within their bodies. So if you let this sit, it's gonna stain the front end of your vehicle or any of the other areas that you have the bug guts on. And it's gonna be a permanent kind of damage. So you definitely do not want that, especially on a brand new car. And that's why we're doing this process today. Now, the first step that I'm gonna start off with is by rinsing this front end off just to make sure that we knock off as much of these bugs as we can before we get into the scrubbing. All right, so now that I gave it a light rinse, you'll see that it looks much better. However, there's still little pieces of bugs still caught within all these little intricate areas. You have them pretty splattered on this little front kind of grill area of the car. I know you guys can't see because of the water's kind of clouding it, but if you guys see just a little close up view, you'll still see that there's a ton of bugs left to clean up. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is set up our bug and tire remover bottle. So I'm gonna grab my secondary dilution spray bottle, take off the sprayer top, and then I'm gonna fill it up with product. And the cool thing about this bottle is that it has your labeled dilution ratios right here on the side, so you know exactly how much to fill up. So right here, I'm gonna grab my bug and tar remover. I'm gonna open it up and make sure to take off your seal that we can pour it out. And then you're gonna fill up this bottle up to the six to one ratio mark. All right, just like that, that's pretty much all you need. So it's not a lot of product. You dilute it more with water than the actual thing itself. So you'll see that it's an extremely concentrated cleaner and it works out incredible. And then right here, I just have one of our bottles here just filled with some water. So all I'm gonna do is just pour up the rest with water. And if you have a funnel, I would highly recommend using it just so that way you don't pour it or spill it like I did right now. But we are almost there. And we're done. And just like that, you have yourself a ready to use 16 ounce bottle of product. And just stir it up. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually pour some into a bucket just for added lubrication. So what I'm gonna do here is get my bug and tire remover. And I'm simply gonna apply about an ounce of product into this bucket of water here. That's all you need. Put your cap back on. And then you can actually activate the suds as well with your garden hose nozzle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right guys, so now that that's all set up, we can grab our wash mitt, dunk it in there, just kind of soak up some of that lubrication and begin the process by spraying the entire front end and the areas that have the bug guts. So right here, I'm gonna be mainly focusing on the grill, the headlights, this lower uh, vents, and then we'll also get the mirrors as well because the mirrors do have some bugs as well. 
along with the windshield however as far as the windshield it doesn't look too bad on there so we're just going to finish off the rest of the car with the traditional wash but just to kind of focus on the area that has the most bugs we're going to go ahead and start off by spraying it down All right, so now that you're done spraying the front end, you can go ahead and grab your wash mitt. Now, usually I like to give that about 30 seconds to kind of dwell, break down the bug guts. And the cool thing about this product is that it's extremely slick. So for that reason, it's gonna prevent you from installing scratches and swirls while doing this process. So all you wanna do is start off by simply scrubbing it down and you'll see right away that it starts pulling off the bug guts and the mesh filter on this uh, wash mitt actually does kind of help it entrap it within the wash mitt itself. That way you're not dragging it along the paintwork and it does an incredible job at doing that. And you'll see right here, if I pull it up closely, you'll see that those bug guts, they kind of fall within that mesh material. Now, once you do a certain section, I would highly recommend that you come back to your bucket and just kind of wringing it out. And I also do have a dirt trap at the bottom of this bucket, just to kind of filter out any kind of those abrasive bug guts that are on there. You can pull it out, bring it out, inspect your wash mitt, and then continue with this process. All right guys, so now that we're done scrubbing it down, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it off with some water and we'll be good to go. All right guys, and there you guys have it. We just finished up, we rinsed it off. We used the bug and tar remover to do that deep clean paired with that chenille microfiber wash mitt with the mesh side. And as you guys can see, it looks incredible. Did its job, did an incredible job actually removing all these bug guts. And as you guys can see, it looks nice and spiffy and all new again. We did make a little bit of a splash while we were rinsing off the front end. However, that's completely fine because we're gonna continue with washing the rest of the car. So if you guys wanna see the final results, make sure to stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, comment down below your guys' videos ideas. And as always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. I'll see you guys next time.